National Labor Relations Board v. Jones and Laughlin Steel Corporation, 301 U.S. 1, 1937, was a U.S. labor law case in the United States Supreme Court that declared that the National Labor Relations Act of 1935, or Wagner Act, was constitutional. It effectively spelled the end to the court's striking down of New Deal economic legislation and greatly increased the U.S. Congress's power under the Commerce Clause. Topic background Jones & Laughlin Steel was America's fourth largest steel producer, and the company was charged with discriminating against workers who wanted to join the Steel Workers Organizing Committee The company had fired ten employees at its plant in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, after they moved to unionize. The NLRB ruled against the company and ordered for the workers to be rehired and given back pay, but Jones and Laughlin refused to comply on the grounds that they believed the act was unconstitutional. Citing Supreme Court precedent, lower courts agreed. Topic. Decision Chief Justice Charles Evans Hughes wrote the majority opinion in the case, which reversed the lower court's ruling, in a 5-4 decision. Justice McRainolds dissented, questioning Congress's enhanced power under the Commerce Clause. Although he did not dispute Congress's regulation of interstate commerce between the states, he stated that Congress's interference should be in cases where a violation is direct and material. McReynolds stated that taxation on property, for example, may indirectly but seriously affect the cost of transportation. He concluded that Congress had transcended the power granted to it by the Constitution. Topic. See also U.S. Labor Law List of United States Supreme Court Cases, Volume 301 equals equals notes